everyone welcome back to my channel simply Alicia a and today well tonight um, I'm going to be doing a plant with me I'm big I'm going to be doing a pothos rescue you guys so basically I'm just rescuing my pothos um, propagations that I've had sitting in my room for about about a month and a half maybe two months I received these clippings from a friend and um, her plant was getting super long and so she cut them off and had them sitting in water and um, she said hey you know I got these plants I'm gonna throw them away and you know I'm like hey no let's not do that so <laughs> I went and got them and they've been propagating and um, we're going to take care of them today they need rescuing today so um, you guys let's get to it I'm super excited you guys so I hope you guys enjoy this because you know I'm going to <laughs> so let's get started okay you guys so what I'm gonna do today is um, I've learned how to use um, certain products to help my cuttings along so um, today I'm going to be putting my cuttings more of my cuttings into cocoa core and um, the reason why I'm using cocoa core is of course because it holds a lot uh, a lot of water it holds a lot of moisture but because these are new cuttings, I don't want them to get soggy and I don't want them to dry out. So on top of the cocoa core that I'm going to be mixing with, because they're going to be majority cocoa core, basically the smaller pots and then whatever I have left will go to the bigger pot. But um, then I'm going to put in, of course, some perlite because I want it to drain fast. I don't want them to sit in soggy, soaky soil. And I, but I wanted to hold moisture and then to give my babies a little extra boost I'm going to be putting in just a little bit of earthworm castings to give them a little whatever this is right here <laughs> so um, yes I'm doing that and then of course I'm using my potting soil from miracle Grow. so to do a little background on these plants you guys um, like I said I got them for my friend and um, uh, if you guys know anything about pothos, this is why I love pothos, you guys. These plants are super, super resilient. I mean, they will find a way to grow. It doesn't matter what's going on. So um, I'll start off with um, just showing you an example like here. Because it was so many clippings. I actually gave about three clippings away. Uh, just reason, More than that, actually. I just gave some clippings away. So I had a ton. She gave me a ton of clippings. So like right here. These clippings, all you do to get new plants is do this, you guys. Just cut them off. And then if you look right here, there's a, you see where these roots are coming out? There was a node right there, this little brown thing sticking out right there. That's where the roots come out at. So wherever you have this plant sticking in water, that's where new growth is going to come. So if you see here, if you don't get roots, you're definitely going to get new sprouts. This was a node right here, and new sprouts came out here, and it also grew at the top. And you see how long? This is a separate plant on its own. I can just take this off, drop it in some water, and the roots will come out in here. So pothos are like one of the best plants. If you love to grow things, one of the best plants to actually have. Super easy. You just set it and forget it pretty much. These things bounce back like, oh my gosh, like nobody's business. So I love these clippings that she gave me because if you look at the size of these roots, you guys, I'm sorry, these stems, look at these stems, the size of these stems compared to, I can actually show you on its baby. This is how some of those stems look in real life. Now compare this stem to this stem and you see the size difference. Look at that. These are regular I don't know what this is. This isn't a giant pothos because that's what I'm looking for. A giant pothos. But this is like a very, very healthy, healthy plant. So um, I'm going to get their pots prepped, you guys. And then I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to pot up my babies. So, all right, you guys. So right now I'm just getting the, the soil. I'm making up for the little pots right now. So I'm getting some of the regular soil. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the cocoa core because I want them to stay moist while they're in there and this has worked beautifully I just learned this but this has worked amazingly you guys with um with my other uh, propagations that I uh, potted up a few months ago so I'll get a little bit of earthworm casting not much probably can't see it dump that in there just enough 
and then of course the perlite and I'm going to oh, my utensils you guys I can never keep up with my utensils Grr. okay give that a quick stir and the cocoa core makes it really soft you guys so I'm going to definitely keep this in there, but I'm going to add a little bit more uh, um, perlite because, like I said, with these being new roots, they're softer and they're different from dirt roots. Water roots um, are different in texture and different in makeup than uh, regular roots are, so you still have to be very careful with them. They break easily, and um, until they can grow stronger under, underground, you don't want to use a really hard soil. So um, right here... Besides this one, you guys know already what this one is. This is uh, the propagations that I'm still doing with the philodendron. But these were actually, this is why I needed to rescue today, you guys, because these were actually growing underneath the water. So it already has roots. This is an individual plant of its own. So um, I decided to just go ahead and rescue them because... Uh, you can technically grow pothos underwater. It can be done. However, it's a hit and miss. See those roots? Look at how many uh, nodes touch the water is how many roots you're going to get. So you're going to have to plant these in a very special way if you want these to um, really take off. But um, yeah, so I, um, you can plant pothos. I mean, you can grow pothos underwater. However, the sometimes it, it'll grow fine but the majority of the time the leaves will start uh rotting off they will start getting root rot and it, this is broken but um a lot of the time the roots i'm sorry the uh stems was like this will start rotting off so i decided to just go ahead and rescue my baby for now you see how all the nodes this was because it was growing underwater all the nodes grew out roots so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to plant them and I'm plant her going across and we'll just see how it goes from there. I have like a million pothos so hopefully you know these are touch and go sometimes 90 about 98 percent of the time your plant will survive because pothos are like resilient you guys I'm telling you they can pretty much bounce back from almost anything you guys so I mean it's just amazing how these plants are I love pothos this is one of the reasons why I'm a pothos girl <laughs> for the instant gratification of seeing them grow. These are all underwater, growing healthy underwater, perfectly fine. But I said, let me rescue these and just get them into some dirt. So as you can see, I'm just putting them in here. Hopefully you can see that. I'm just putting them in here in a way that they can grow um, fine. See how this is, uh, even though it's a tiny little plant, it has enough roots that are established, it can go in too. So, I'm going to get that in here. But if you want to try and experiment, you guys, there's people who actually grow pothos underwater. They grow them in their fish tanks. I unfortunately cannot have a fish tank in my apartment. You see how this is uh, rotted off? This is the tip. This was underwater and it rotted off. So, that that is some of the... Um, the downfalls of growing pothos underwater, you have to be careful because these will rot off. So sometimes, like I said, it's a hit and miss. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm placing them in here. I wish I had a, a setup where I can show you different angles of me um, planting these babies But um, while they're going in. But the Lord is going to bless me with some different equipment, you know, a better camera and a better uploading system. Because I've noticed lately that I can't really upload in um, high definition. I believe some of my photos, not photos, um, some of my videos come across maybe kind of blurry. So, and I know that has something, a lot to do actually with, um, with my uh, uploading system. So... But I'm going to pray that the Lord's going to bless me, you guys, with um, a better system. And it's going to work out because I want to be able to still show you guys my passion, but at the same time give you great quality too, you know, not just throw anything out there, which I don't think that's what I've been doing, but I would feel more comfortable if I had 
a better, you know, a better system. So you guys can get more sharper 720, 720 P or whatever they call it. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm mixing up more dirt and this is what they look like so far. These were the babies that were growing underwater and look at how healthy they are. They're shining, they're healthy. And all I gotta do is keep this dirt moist. Keep this dirt moist, keep them out of the sun. Do not put them in direct sunlight when, you, um, when you're potting new, new plants. The majority of new plants cannot take direct sunlight. New, uh, new cuttings, clippings, whatever they call it, um, cannot take direct sunlight. Some of them can, some of them can't. I just choose not to put them in direct sunlight for at least a few days. And then I'll put them in like highlight just to see how they go. So there you go, my little ones that were growing underwater. And all of these came from these stems. So I have not one, but probably like 15 plants here from just like all these clippings. Each clipping gave me like two to three different plants. So here goes another group of plants that I have now. How, I, how cool is that? And these were growing on stems that I already have more growing at the top. So I have another plant. Isn't that cool? All right, you guys, so I'm gonna move on to the bigger clippings now. Um, I just used the rest of the cocoa core. It's probably not that much in there, so it's probably like maybe this much left in there. So since it's such a big pot, it'll take longer for the uh, <coughs> excuse me, the dirt to actually dry out. So I'm not too concerned about that. It's just the smaller pots they take, they go, they dry out a lot faster. So you have to be very careful with those. But um, I'm gonna put. I got the worm castings. I'm not going to put that much, but I'm going to put enough. Oh, well, I guess I did. <laughs> so, um, oh, let me put this, um, um, perlite in here. Let's see if I can get a good mix going on here. So, Like I said, you guys, um, for those who are my current subscribers and or long, long time subscribers, um, you guys know my story about how I, um, why I'm so familiar with pothos. So, yeah, this stuff right here, working with pothos, is so easy for me. It's like, like drinking water. <laughs> I could do this with my hands tied behind my back, you guys. Like working with pothos is so amazing. So look at that soil. All mixed up nice mixture here so we're gonna put that in here so it's not a lot of cocoa core in here because like I said um, it's a bigger pot it'll take longer to dry out but I am going to put whew, I am going to put extra uh, pearl like because I want it to drain easily too though I don't want the roots to rot in the dirt because they will rot underwater if they're in there for too long. So where these pothos were sitting at, you guys, these pothos were um, in my room. I have a west, um, a west facing balcony. So these were in my room, actually, uh, uh, sitting in my room, but not. Well, they were actually getting direct sunlight. So, um, oh no, I forgot. So I'm gonna have to get another pot. Oh yeah, I forgot. So um, I got this extra pot here for these little ones these were the ones that were growing underwater as well so now I have three <laughs> a few more plants okay so here you guys is one of the clippings okay so like I said um they were sitting in my room and these things just took off they were getting west facing sun so they were getting direct sunlight but they were not outside they were sitting on my dresser and I had them tacked against the wall because they grew so fast you guys that I just wow so I'm not a I'm not um what is that called uh they never cease to surprise me or amaze me how pothos are pothos are just freaking amazing I love them but um yeah so they were getting direct sunlight you guys so with that being said um sometimes it's okay to do that other times it's not so you have to play it by ear you have to be careful on where you put your plants at to get light because see that that's just at the tip this is the one I showed you already and then this is the new the new growth that came out of one of the things that was at the top this was at the bottom um, 
yeah so you have to be careful where you put your pothos for light because some people would scream and say no don't ever put pothos in the direct sunlight well I'm living proof that it actually can be done you just have to be seasoned at this you have to know what you're doing and uh, experience yes you have to have experience with uh, pothos and you have to know what you're doing um, See, this is the new baby. I can just clip all of these off and make new plants, you guys. Like, I'll have a ton of pothos. Pothos are givers. They give you so many new babies. It's like, oh my gosh, like rabbits. <laughs> I'm not familiar with rabbits, but um, yeah. But um, I have experience with actually putting my pothos, literally a lot of my plants, a lot of my plants, this will go in the small one. I have experience with putting a lot of my plants in direct sunlight. And when I say that, this is what I mean. Okay, so right here, really quickly, this one does not have any roots on it. However, it does have life. You see that? It grew. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this one back in the water, and um, hopefully it'll give me some roots. Otherwise, it'll have to stay in there and just live like this. Because once you put it in the, in the uh, dirt, it's a possibility that it'll grow roots. But then it's a possibility that it won't. So I just don't want to take that chance. So look at this, you guys. Look at the thickness of these roots. Look how the uh, the stem, look how healthy these things are. These are like the size of my pinky. So look at this. Look at all the, the, the here. And then look at all the life in it. Look at the size of the leaves. The leaves are big, you guys. And then this is the new growth that it grew from here on out. Look at that. So yeah, um, with that being said, you can take um, and put your plants in the sun. And this is how you can do it. It depends on the time of year, <coughs> the direction of the sun, and the time of day. And this is what I mean by that. So you know how you have the noonday sun. The noonday sun is hot, it's directly above us. And it's beaming down, right? You can feel the heat. That's where sunburn and all of that, I believe, comes from, from like the radiation and all of that. However, if you put your plants outside during the beginning of summer, late spring, beginning of summer, around sunset, you have a good depending on like I said the time of day and the time of year sometimes you may have a good hour of direct sunlight but it's not the yellow sunlight it's the setting sunlight so it's the softer warmer sun that's the orangish color that's key that's where you that's the key that you need to um put in your pothos and your plants all of your plants and look at this, you guys. Look at that. And this was coming from direct sunlight, just sitting in my room, propagating in the sun, you guys. How amazing is that? Oh, look at this. Look at what it grew here. These things are so... And then this one is so long, I had to wrap it around itself. But look, it grew two... It grew two babies out of here. Now, I could take these two babies off because they have roots right here. I could take this one off. They both have roots, but I'm going to keep them on because he he's working for some reason. So these roots were to grow these babies right here. So, yes, that's the key to putting your plants outside in direct sunlight, you guys. So with that being said, if you don't do that, try it. It won't hurt. But like I said, you have to make sure what time of day and what time of year. So now, this is the middle of summer. This is June, July. I'm sorry, this is July. I will not sit my babies out before, I want to say before 6 o'clock. I always wait until after 7.30ish, 8 o'clock, when the sun is really far low in the sky and there's no threat of the heat, the intense heat. Because I have burned some of my plants sitting them out before the time of day they're supposed to be out so that's just uh 
look at this is super long you guys so look at the roots look at the roots on this one too look at that wow and this one grew all of this and then I'm trying to get her un from unwrapped from over here because she grew something super long over here <laughs> and it's wrapping and tangling around itself so give me a second you guys there we go okay so yes look at this all of this that's what these roots are working hard for so she already got big leaves that's already on here but then she got three two to three sprouts on here so we're gonna leave those babies on there and put her in here too so yeah if you have cactus of course I like I said I'm learning how to do this is all the way on the floor I'm learning how to work with cacti but those can take direct sunlight Unfortunately, I learned the hard way. I put my Sansevierias out, you guys. I am so sad because I killed almost all of my Sansevierias, you guys. So, I have been on the hunt. I can't even remember what they look like. Look at this one. I've been on the hunt, you guys. One. All these nodes that were touching the water. Look at that. I've been on the hunt, you guys, to find... Um, my Sansevierias and this is the baby that it grew how long that is you see that so yeah I'm very sad so I've lost a lot of plants along the way you guys on this new journey with these new plants I have lost a lot and I am just I'm sad but I'm happy in a way because I got to experience them and when I failed I failed and then now I either can say you know I'm not gonna do it again or now I know what to do and how to take care of them. So that's why I'm not so sad about it, you know. It's sad because they're plants and they died. And I don't want that to happen. But um, it's also a learning experience for me. So I'm pretty excited about that. I learned something new. And then if I choose to get those plants again, I'll know how to take care of them. So I'm not sad about that part. So... I'm going to finish getting these put in, you guys. All right, there you go, you guys. So these are the babies in here. As you can see, I'm going to have to plant these in a special way. But um, they're pretty much okay. I'm going to get the, get the dirt put on them. And then we're going to put the last, uh, last two babies in their pots. Okay, so I wanted to um, do, uh, do something really special. But we're going to get this figured out, you guys. Also, the last two babies I left in here, sometimes you'll get this, you guys, when you plant pothos up as well, when you propagate. Sometimes you'll get this, but then you'll get this. You'll get nothing. Just be patient. Sometimes you can just leave it like that and let it root because it's still life in there. Or you can just toss it. I don't really toss them. I just let them go. And sometimes they'll grow leaves. Sometimes they won't. It's just all in the fun of, you know, learning what your plant baby will be able to do. So I'm going to have to make up some more soil to get this baby covered. And this is actually one big plant. Oh, excuse me. This is one big plant, you guys, instead of um, a bunch of different plants. This is one big plant. How cool are pothos? Like, really? <laughs> so um, let me get the rest of this dirt mixed up because it's going to take a lot to cover her. So I think I mentioned earlier, I hope I did, this is not one of my typical plant with me videos. This is a rescue video, so it's going to be a lot of pausing and stopping and redoing stuff and, and whatever else because um, I had to plant my babies up. So, yeah, I'm going to get them in here and then get the last two. So... If you guys have any experience with um, pothos, let me know because I have a lot of experience with pothos. I just learned their names, however, like I said. I just learned what their names are. I didn't know that's what they were called, but I know how to grow them like hotcakes. <laughs> know how to grow them like hotcakes. So I love these babies. Oh my gosh. And I've been going uh, plant, not shopping. But just watching, because I'm searching for, uh, okay, see, so here's the thing right here. This is some roots sticking out. You might not be able to see it. It's some roots sticking out right here. 
There's nothing that I can do about that. That won't hurt the plant. I can let them dry off or I can just let them cut. I can just cut them off. But this node was underwater. But seeing as how she has um, the major all the rest of her roots are under soil, she'll be okay. But um, yeah, I've been seeing so many beautiful, healthy cocos, and it takes everything in me to not grab some more. <laughs> Because you literally, if you want a full plant, that's okay. But you literally will not have to buy any more pothos if you just propagate them. Like, if you want that full effect, then I understand. But if you just like this here, look at this. If you like the gratification of this, these are just the babies growing off of the clippings alone. If you love this, <laughs> then by all means, don't buy any more. Just propagate, 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 propagate. And I'm telling you, you will not be mad about it. You will be, oh my gosh. They are very giving, very loving. Oh my gosh, I love pothos. So here's, I don't even know what to give her. You guys, let's help me, let's help pick a name for her. I'm thinking Gina. If not Gina, you guys help me out. And I still have to choose the other name. I've read your comments and I think I got a name for my, uh, my moss ball and my, my dog tail cactus. That's coming up in another video. But, um, yeah, so let's pick a name for her, you guys. This is a rescue. She was a, she was a gift to me. And then she's grown. She has gave me extra babies. And now she's beautiful. So, uh, beauty, I don't know. I'm just thinking of some stuff, y'all. But whoever got the, uh, whoever name comes up the most, that's what we'll do. So, help name the rescue pothos. <laughs> So this is her and all of her beauty, you guys. Look at this. I just don't know what to do with her. OMG. So we're going to do the last baby. Okay, you guys. So we're doing the last one now. The last little cuties. Oh, too much. Put that in there. We don't want too much because we want to be able to um, keep her moisture. Mix that up, earthworm casting. Let them be off to a good start. Just like that. Alrighty. So now this one's gonna be kind of hard because what I can do is I can clip this. As a matter of fact, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I can clip this and get two plants, see? Because this is a plant on its own right here. And then this node gave me some, um, what you call it, some roots. So I can take this and clip this. And then that way, so I'll get four, four stems out of this. So let's do that. So I can find my scissors. Let's see, let's find the scissors. All right, found them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this and create two plants. So this is the top, and if it keeps growing, this will sprout out more plants too. But this is already split from here, so it might not. It might grow some from here. It might not. You never know. With pothos, like I said, it's give and take with those. So... We'll just put these babies into some dirt here. See if we can get a little closer for y'all. Put them into some dirt. Soil. <laughs> and then take this one and I might, yep, I'll do that with this one. See how this one, see we'll cut that off. And then I could just stick this whole thing in here. Cause you see how each of the nodes gave us roots. So we'll just do that. And there you go. And that's how it'll look. Uh-oh. It'll be just like that. So we'll do this. Cover her up. Now this one doesn't have any cocoa core in it, so we're gonna have to watch her closely. Make sure that her dirt stays moist, but not too soggy. That's what the perlite is in, the extra perlite is in there for. There we go. 
and all these beauties will get some watering and then they'll sit on the propagation counter until they're ready they won't go back in direct sunlight they'll go probably out <clears throat> on my front balcony where it gets the it gets shade so um all right everyone so that is all for today i hope you enjoyed i know i did thank you so so much for joining me on planting up my pothos babies i'm so glad that i got them out the way they were in need of rescue and they were in need of being planted and so um i'm glad i did that today so um if you are new to my channel uh don't forget to hit the like button hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification so that you can be notified anytime i upload anything and um like i said this is not a typical plant with me video um there was a lot of different things that i did in today's video so um if you want to see more just continue to tune in if you're new so um thank you so much you guys i really do appreciate it and as always don't forget you guys that i love you and god loves you too and we will see you all in our next video you guys be blessed bye